now that we're connected, what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure a console. The particular console blade has a couple mic inputs and some stereo analog and digital inputs. They can be configured by holding down the A button here until it flashes. Then I can spin the encoder and take any source in the matrix on any fader. So here we'll put mic one. The next fader will uh, hold down the A input. And this will give us access to mic two or any other source in the system. The third input is going to be stereo input number two. This is probably the best way to just to get audio in and out of your IP12. And so by holding stereo input, uh, holding the fader down here, it allows me to select stereo input number two, and I hit take. And so now I'll plug our audio source into stereo input two via RJ45. I can see right here on the front of the blade that I have audio on that channel. I come over here to the console. I sign it to program and some four buses, and I pot it up. You'll notice I have meters here. I've got a built-in Q amplifier and Q speaker. And then we also notice we've got a built-in headphone amp. So by turning down the Q speaker here, right here you'll see the, the under the wrist rest console mounted uh, headphone amplifier, headphone jack. Plug this in, we can select uh, program for our headphones, and now we've got audio. One thing to notice, we haven't used a PC, PC for this setup yet. I've got audio coming out of the internal queue, audio coming out of the internal headphone amplifier, all through a single ethernet cable. This is just some of the benefits you're gonna find with the Wheatstone IP12, IP16, and Wheatnet IP series. So please stay tuned for more videos.